In this presentation, we will study cyclicity of unit digit. We use cyclicity of a number for the calculation of unit digit. Let us consider a series. A is the first term, B is the second term, C is the third term, and then we again have A, B, C, A, B, C, and so on. In this series, we have to find eighth term. It is pretty simple to find eighth term. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So B is the eighth term. But what if I ask you to find out 64th term? It will be very time consuming if we count up to 64th term. So we have another way to find out the 64th term. You can see we have repeated terms A, B, C is again repeated. Then again A, B, C is repeated. There are three digits in the cycle. A is the first digit, B is the second and C is the third digit. So there are three digits in this cycle and in order to find out 64th term we will divide 64 by 3 the number of terms in our cycle and the remainder is equal to 1. This 1 means the first term and the first term is A. So 64th term in this series is A. In the same way we can find out the 8th term. We will divide 8 by 3 and the remainder will be 2. It means second term and second term is B. So 8th term is equal to B. Very simple. Now we will move to cyclicity of 1 cyclicity of 1 1 raised to power 1 is 1 1 raised to power 2 is also 1 1 raised to power 3 is 1 in the same way 1 raised to power n is 1 so cycle of 1 cycle of 1 is 1 itself the second cyclicity we have to see is cyclicity of 2 cyclicity of 2. 2 raised to power 1 is 2, 2 raised to power 2 is 4, 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 2 raised to power 4 is 16, 2 raised to power 5 is 32, 2 raised to power 6 is 64, 2 raised to power 7 is 128, 2 raised to power 8 is 256. Now we have to focus on units place. We have 2, 4, 8, 6. Now if you see these four numbers, you will find on the unit place we again have 2, 4, 8, 6. So cycle, cycle of 2 is 2, 4, 8, 6. There are four digits in cycle. They are 2, 4, 8, 6. 2 is the first digit. 4 is the second, 8 is the third and 6 is the fourth. And after 6 we again have 2 and so on. And now we will use this property to find out digit at units place. This will be more clear when we solve few examples. So example number 1, example number 1, we have to find unit digit of number 2 raised to power 34 and from here you can see we have 4 digits in the cycle so I am going to divide 34 by 4 and the remainder the remainder is equal to 2 right because 4 multiplied by 8 gives me 32 and 34 minus 32 is 2 so 2 is the remainder and this means second digit of the cycle. Second digit of the cycle is 4. It means 2 raised to power 34 is having 4 at the units place. So 4 is the answer. Right? Now we will move to second example. In this example we have to find the unit digit of number 2 raised to power 15. Again we will divide 15 by 4 and this will give us this will give us remainder equal to 3 
because 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12 and 15 minus 12 is equal to 3 so 3 is the remainder and this means third digit of the cycle third digit of the cycle is 8 it means 2 raised to power 15 is having 8 at units place right so 8 is the answer and in this case 4 is the answer now we will move to another example which is very important this example is very important we have to find unit digit of 12 raised to power 16 multiplied by 32 raised to power 22 we have to solve this we have seen the cyclicity of 2 but we have no idea about 12 and 32 so what we can do before solving this problem let me explain you simple thing if I multiply 12 with 32 I have 2 multiplied by 2 4 2 multiplied by 1 2 3 multiplied by 2 6 3 multiplied by 1 3 the answer is 4 8 3 3 84 if I talk about unit place of result it is 4 and 4 we are getting when 2 is multiplied by this 2 so the unit place of the result has to do nothing with this 1 and with this 3 so it is dependent on the unit place of the number we are multiplying the unit place of 12 and the unit place of 32 so we can neglect this 1 from 12 and this 3 from 32 and we are left with 2 raised to power 16 multiplied by 2 raised to power 22 and we can easily solve this because we know in cycle of 2 there are 4 digits 2 4 8 6 these are the 4 digits and we will solve for 2 raised to power 16 first I will divide 16 by 4 and the remainder in this case is equal to 0 on the other hand if we solve for 2 raised to power 22 we will divide 22 by 4 and remainder in this case is equal to 2 now when remainder is equal to 2 this implies the unit digit of 2 raised to power 22 is 4 because 2 is the first digit 4 is the second 8 is the third and 6 is the fourth and we have to select the second digit it means 4 so 2 raised to power 22 will have 4 at the units place or we can say 32 raised to power 22 will have 4 at the units place now we will move to this case this is important when remainder is equal to 0 what we have to select out of 2 4 8 6 what we have to select generally you will think we have to select 2 but it is not correct we have to select the last digit whenever remainder is equal to 0 we have to select the last digit and in this case last digit is 6 so this is very important point and thus 2 raised to power 16 will have 6 at unit place 2 raised to power 16 will have 6 at unit place and I will write it 1 to 12 because we neglected this 1 from 12 and this 3 from 32 and I have included them again and you can see 12 raised to power 16 is multiplied by 32 raised to power 22 so we have to multiply this 6 and 4 6 multiplied by 4 gives us 24 and we are looking for the digit at unit place so we have 4 as the answer so if you multiply 2 raised to power 16 by 32 raised to power 22 the result will have 4 at the units place now we will move to homework problem I have two homework problems for you homework problems in first problem you have to find digit at unit place in the number 2 raised to power 383 in the second problem you have to find digit at unit place when you multiply 92 raised to power 70 by 112 raised to power 35. So these are the two homework problems and this is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.